So YouTube team keep it clean What's going on it's Engraven here with another video And we are fresh off the first round of the NFL draft That was last night And with the Baltimore Ravens They not only had one but they had two picks And they actually surprised a lot of us Because they picked at 27 I think everybody expected that Well most of us did uh, But at 31 that was the real shocker And it wasn't even the player that they picked With Jason away that was the shocker But it was the fact that they picked a player That surprised me Because I really didn't didn't expect them to pick somebody at 31 I was for sure like these guys were going to be trading down I did not expect them to have both have two first round picks and pick two first round picks uh, in the first round of the draft but they did it and it was a pleasant surprise now of course you all saw uh, the reaction to the Rashad Bateman pick and I was hyped about that one I was super hyped about it um, but I know a lot of people were like, whoa, uh, pretty different reactions for uh, Rashad Bateman and Jason Away. Uh, and with the Jason Away pick, it wasn't that I liked it or I, I disliked it. It was just that I was naive to his game because he's not somebody that I got a chance to watch film on. So what was today? Today was a film study day for Jason Away. Wow, that rhymed. I like that. But anyway. Um, so he is the Ravens' first round pick, pick 31, and I know somebody on Twitter, I forgot who it was, they were like, oh, it would be a beautiful thing if he ended up beating Orlando Brown Jr. to sack Patrick Mahomes when the Ravens played the Chiefs this year, because of course we got that pick from the Kansas City Chiefs um, in the Orlando Brown Jr. trade. But anyway, Jason away. Uh, the speed is real. What did he run, a 4-3 and change? The speed is real, because there's combine speed, and then there's football speed. He has both. He certainly got both. Um, I watched this guy. When he gets in the open field, like, he be hitting it, man. He be going. So he, he has the speed. So that's a good thing. Um, as far as his game, his technique, I noticed that he is a very, uh, well, from what I saw, he's a very streaky player. When he's going and he's involved and being disruptive, he is super disruptive. He be making his name known on the field. But then at times he can get a little bit quiet too. And, I mean, that happens. It, it happens. So that's not like, oh, my gosh, that's so bad. No, it happens. Because it happens with NFL players who've been playing in a, for a long time, who've been playing for a short amount of time. It happens. Um, but I, I did notice that. Like, when he's going, he is going. But when he's off, it, it, it can get a little quiet. And as a pass rusher, that's how it is. You don't expect the guys to get to the quarterback every single drive, every single down, anything like that. Um, but that is something that I noticed from him. One thing that I really, really loved was his play recognition. This guy was very good at dissecting plays and knowing like if the quarterback was keeping it or if the running back had it, if it was a wide receiver screen. He was very good at recognizing plays. And I would really uh, attribute that to his film study. That showed, that right there, it really shows that he dives deep into film study. And that's something that, that's big. That's big because as a person, not even just football, but just as a person, if there's something that you lack, if it's something that you want to learn, if it's something that you want to get better at, then you're going to... You're going to take the extra time. If you really want to get better at it, you're going to take the extra time to put in the time, put in the effort, put in the work, uh, and put in the study of whatever it is that you're trying to get better at. So that's what I saw with him. This guy, he knows what's going on on that field, and he clearly studies his opponents like crazy. Like crazy. Um, heading into the NFL, I think it'll be really good for him to get with some NFL coaches. Uh, because I, I know that he is very, very raw. I, I listened to him when Baltimore Ravens, when they did their uh, their presser with him, their introductory presser with him at like 1235 in the morning. I'm like, OK, Ravens, right, I'm with it, though, because I was up already and working and stuff. So I'm listening. But anyway, um, I, I listened to that last night or this morning. And I just uh, I, I love how he spoke and he seemed like he really is focused and he's ready. And I know, like, you could say that about a lot of draft picks and whatnot, but when you hear this guy speak and you listen to what was going on in the background, because those of y'all that were there, y'all heard his family, they were partying, they were having a great time. They were in the background partying, screaming, yelling, celebrating, and that's great. I love that. That's one of, that was one of my favorite things from watching the draft is seeing when the, the draft picks' families were genuinely excited for them because that's a beautiful thing. But with him... He wasn't, well, y'all saw when he was dancing and all that. I said, okay, all right. Well, I can't wait till you get your first sex, man. Look, I can't wait to see the celebrations. 
But with, with him, when he was having his uh, introductory presser, he was locked on, dead serious, not playing no games. And it seemed like this dude was ready to get his jersey number, get fitted for his helmet, and, and get to work right away. It looked like he was ready. Um, but with the NFL, the NFL coaching is going to do wonders for him. I, I know he talked about, I believe he said he just started playing football like five years ago. Like five years ago. So with this, I, I, and my guy JT made a really good point on this. Um, the Ravens, he, he's very raw. He, 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 can, he can do some stuff now, but he's very raw. Um, so this could be something nice for the Ravens. And it's not even that he will be a project guy. But the Ravens might have taken him in the first round because they, they see the flashes. They see the ability. They, they know what this guy is capable of, but they also know what they can do with him. And if there is anything to where you can be like, oh, yeah, I, I, I trust the Ravens when it comes to this. It would definitely be uh, defensive players and especially uh, the linebacker position. So this is this is good. And um, with, with Sack Daddy, this reminds me of Sack Daddy now. And hopefully in this case, it's the exact opposite. And this is not a shot at Sack Daddy at all, but just thinking about how with Sack Daddy, he led the NCAA in sacks, right? He, he, he led that. He, he broke, I think, Terrell Suggs' record. And then he got to the NFL, and it, it got a little bit quiet. And again, it is a big transition. It's a huge transition. Going from college to the pros, that's huge. You're going against bigger Better, smarter talent. It gets so much tougher. But it, it, it was a little bit rough, and it's been a little bit rough for him in the NFL. Now, the, the, the playing time, the opportunity, it hasn't really been there much. And then toward the end of last year, he was on the inactive list a lot. But it's been rough. But now with Jason away, last year, and I know a lot of people got hung up on this, he didn't get any sacks. He didn't get not one sack. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, man, wow, what a bad pick. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's gross. Oh, you no know, sacks, man. Oh, wow. But sacks don't tell the whole story. So hopefully this will be a flip-flop to where uh, Sack Daddy, I was about to say Ferguson, but he got all those sacks in college, and then he came to the NFL, and it's been sort of a slow pace. But then with away, he didn't get any sacks last year, but he come to the NFL, and it gets booming just like that. But we'll see. We'll see, though. But, um... This was definitely something that the Ravens needed. This was a need. This was certainly a need. Uh, because you lost Matt Judon. You lost uh, Yannick Ngakwe. You lost, you lost Jiha Ward. Uh, so you definitely um, had a need at the pass rush position. Not only a pass rush, but you had a need for speed at outside linebacker. You had a need for speed. Because we've had Matt Judon. And he's not slow, but he ain't fast. We had Yannick Ngakwe, and he, he, was, he, was, he was close. He wasn't fast, but he had a nice little pass rush. He would almost get there, but a lot of QB hits, like Matt Judon, too. Uh, Calais Campbell, Brandon Williams, Derek Wolf, G. Howard Ward, Pernell McPhee. So you see what I'm talking about. We need some speed there. And I think that's what Ravens are really banking on with him. Not just his speed, but again, the weapon that they can possibly make him as a Baltimore Raven. You know Wink was like, ooh, you know Wink was happy about that one. You know he had to be because he's like, ooh, I got another one. I got another one. Ooh, y'all wait to see what I'm about to do with him. Because they got some speed now already with uh, in, on the interior with Patrick Queen. Oh, that boy, lightning, lightning. And then even Malik Harrison, too. He got some nice, and even Chris Board as well. But on the outside, that's where it was lacking at. So maybe this can actually help the Ravens to where they won't need to send <laughs> they won't need to send the whole house uh, just to get a QB hit. Hopefully uh, this can uh, this can help with that. But you know that they're definitely going to take their time with him and they're going to definitely invest in him, especially because he's a first round draft pick. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I um I just I, I loved hearing him speak last night. I, like I told you, all I, I just I, I loved it. I loved it. He sounds like he's very mature, um, and he sounds like uh, he he's, he he sounds like everything's he got it going on up here, man. And that's where everything starts, not just in football, but just in life. Period. Because a lot can be asked of these college guys, and you guys to remember, they don't come up with normal lives. They don't live regular lives, man. 
So they don't get a chance to grow up the way that a normal person will grow up. But hearing him speak and, and the way that he just expressed himself and uh, conducted himself, it was just, uh, it, it was really nice and, and very refreshing too. So shout out to uh, Away. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, his game and I'm looking forward to his success with the Baltimore Ravens, man. Team Keep It Clean, appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Uh, and just like he is when it comes to Penn State now, I'm away. We out. <laughs> that was a fire dad joke. I love y'all. <laughs>